everyone. Today we're going to do some very fun and easy blow art. Now, just to let you know, um, these these um, artworks that we're going to do, it's great for your child who might have some difficulties with lip and cheek strain. Um, so your child might be drooling a lot or they have a hard time keeping their lips closed when they're eating um, or even to drink from uh, or to drink some liquid from a cup. Um, it's also going to help your child who may pocket their food on the side. Um, and um, other than that, it's going to also help with improving their um, blowing strength and endurance. So maybe you want to help your child um, get ready to blow out candles for their next birthday. Or your child really wants to blow bubbles, um, but it, they have a hard time with it. Um, so this is going to help. Um, in addition... Um, these uh, types of blow art is going to also help with uh, self-regulation difficulties. So maybe your child is having a really hard day. Um, they're really active. They're bouncing all around. Um, by with the act of blowing, it's giving them it's going to give them that proprioceptive uh, sensory input, um, which is a a calming input for their body. Um, it's also going to help with some of their motor planning skills um, to try to figure out how to direct the paint on the paper. And lastly, it's also going to help with their visual, uh, their functional visual skills. So their visual fixation um, on the paint and also visual tracking skills to try to direct the paint along the paper. Okay, so let's jump right into our first um, creation here. So as you can see, I've already started um, blowing some, I, I'm just going to pretend this is grass. Um, but just to show you what I did here. So I want to thin out all my paints. And if you have an eyedropper, that would be great too, because then your child can um, squeeze the paint out with the eyedropper. And that's going to help with their uh, fine motor skills and their finger grasp. Okay, so here I am. Um, I'm going to blow on my drops of paint here. Now, it's really important to um, teach your child to try to take a deep breath air a bit and then try to blow out with a long breath. So you, as you can see, I've created some blades of grass here. Okay, now. Some other things we can try and do here, like I'll wash out my paint, um, is we're going to grab some orange here, or any color you like, and I'm going to put a good amount of paint right here in the middle, as you can see. I'm just going to try to put more and more paint there. Okay, so. Now that I have that there, I'm going to see if I can make a really, really long line here. So ready? So I'm trying to blow and direct this paint in different directions. And what you can do is you can grab, grab a straw you have a straw and I cut it so that it's short. It'll be easier for your child to um, uh, utilize. And what I like to do is I like to try to extend some of my paint here. Okay, and I've created a tree. What? Other things you can do is you can grab some different color paints. So for example, I'm going to get some red here, okay? And maybe I'm going to add it to my tree here. And then I'm going to blow on it. There we go. Oops, I dropped my straw there. And you can also um, try out different types of sizes of straws. So, you know, I just used a regular standard straw um, just then, but I also have 
um, a thicker straw, which you would commonly find um, at like a, a boba milk tea um, place, um, these thicker straws. And with the thicker straws, your child's going to have to blow even harder in order to get the paint across. So I'm going to grab um, a different color now. I've got some purple. So we have a very colorful tree here. So maybe these are flowers, maybe um, they're plums, maybe um, they can be apples. You know, you can be very creative about this. So I decided to make some more tree branches here. So um, something you can have your child do too, just to get a tactile sensory experience is to actually use their finger and dip it in the paint. So maybe I'll make some apples here, okay, to decorate my tree. Or maybe I'll put some ladybugs in my grass, ladybugs. Or maybe there are some apples that fell off the tree. Or maybe even some cherries. Um, I can grab some blue here and make some clouds. Okay. Now at the same time, maybe I can grab some blue with my paintbrush. Okay. And then even blow on it. To make a different type of cloud. So as you can see, you can do so many different things um, with just some paint, some straw, and just blowing on it, okay? And that's it. Feel free to leave us comments um, or ask me any questions, and I'll try to respond. Okay, thanks.